Hey everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I look like a boy right now. Um, my eyelash extensions have come off and I'm in my boyfriend's hoodie and I have been crying all day. <laughs> I'm okay, like it's just someone close to me has passed so I was just having an emotional conversation. I don't want to start this vlog off on like a on a low note but I guess I just kind of wanted to talk about a few issues like normal issues that I guess a lot of people um, can't even talk <laughs> they are heavy topics but I feel like talking about them might be good and and hopefully it could you know help you know a couple of people who watch this you know make you feel like you're not alone or that it's okay to be upset so I guess the the first topic I want to talk about is um, mental health. Most of my life, I've been I'm pretty I've been pretty lucky. I haven't really suffered much with any um, mental, um, you know, challenges. But in the last, I don't know, year or so, you know, the most mentally challenging for me due to a few reasons. Really hard for me to talk about this because I know that it's going to go online and that you don't know who's going to watch it and you know it then gives people a reason to talk about you and your personal life. I recently in the last few months have been su starting to suffer some anxiety. I didn't really, I know this is really ignorant of me but I didn't really think anxiety, like I knew it was a thing but I didn't realize how like serious it could be and how you know sometimes you can't control it I thought oh you know if you're anxious just like breathe calm down and you'll be fine but it's definitely not that sometimes I think for me what's brought it on I've had like a few things that have happened in my life that probably like you know deep down um, could trigger anxiety in certain situations recently a year, about a, a year just over a year ago I had plastic surgery done but it wasn't for like a typical reason so I, I had um, breast augmentation but I didn't get it because I wanted bigger boobs I had um, my left boob was like bigger than my right boob so I just wanted to like even them out and go like one size bigger after I came out of my surgery my boobs were a lot bigger than I thought they would be they were still two different sizes and, and quite noticeably in fact they were actually worse than what they were to begin with the surgeon I went to kept trying to, you know, reassure me that they will settle and it'll be fine, it'll drop and even out and anyway, a year passed and it didn't. In that year, I became very self-conscious around my chest area more than ever because obviously not only were my boobs way bigger than I expected, they were even worse so and I was you know I paid quite a lot of money to have them done and I know that might not seem like a big deal to people but when you when when you when I looked at myself it I didn't it wasn't it, I didn't feel like myself like it wasn't me like I'm looking in the mirror going like this doesn't feel like me like it doesn't feel right like I don't I, I didn't like it at all my ex-boyfriend at the time had to deal with me hating like myself <laughs> I guess for like you know a year I was very self-conscious my surgeon also wasn't very understanding um, he obviously you know got his money and thought he did a good enough job but wasn't realizing how much impact it was having on my mental health and my self-confidence and from there I guess um, you know because I didn't love you know that huge part of my body which was supposed to make me feel more womanly and more beautiful not because they were bigger but because they were supposed to be even it yeah it, it, that was taken away from me in a way and I know that it's not the end of the world and that you know there's women out there who have had their you know their breasts removed due to cancer or you know that I, I understand that my my issue is definitely not the worst ever but it definitely um, impacted on my self-confidence as a woman. Then I had a second surgery to fix it. I was in you know, a little bit of debate with my surgeon for a while, which also was traumatizing because this, it, I don't want to get too into it, but 
it just it wasn't an easy process to, to get them fixed so then I got them fixed <laughs> but to be honest that they, they aren't fully fixed and I probably have to have another surgery to have them fixed again they're a lot more even but they're still they're still not right from then on yeah I started definitely like seeing noticing that um, my I just couldn't get my self-confidence back up and I just couldn't I just um, yeah I guess I'm just at that point where I'm I'm having to accept that you know I I, I made a decision that I thought was going to fix um, a problem but it actually made it worse and I can't take I can't really take that back now and that's like the hardest thing to accept obviously boobs aren't everything but it's it's a, there's more to it but I wanted to feel like beautiful as a woman and I know that that isn't all that makes up a woman but it's a huge part of being a woman you know and um, it definitely has affected me a lot now I guess I, I suffer this is really hard for me to talk about it because you know people can have a, form their opinions and say oh poor you like you got your boobs done and you're not happy with them but it's not that at all like if I I definitely would do anything to take back having my boobs done and I never wanted them done in the first place for having bigger boobs at all because I, I personally do not like big boobs on me at all. I, I miss my, you know, my old smaller boobs and I would do anything to be able to go back to that and just accept myself for who I was, how I was born. I guess I just want to talk about it because we live in a world where we want to be perfect and we're comparing ourselves to others because of you know, social media most um, likely. I just really want girls and boys to know that, to just really love yourself for the way you are and, and there's no need to change yourself. Even like, you know, I wanted to fix something that was like a problem for me that affected me for, you know, my whole teenage life. You know, when I started getting boobs, like I noticed my left one was always bigger and I was like, oh, like maybe it'll just even out when I get older and like, it got to a stage where, you know, they stopped growing and I'm, I'm a woman and they're not going to change and I was, I wanted to fix it because it bothered me but at the end of the day it definitely wasn't worth it because now my pro like the problem is worse and I spent a lot of money <laughs> and I went through a lot of trouble with my surgeon emotionally and, you know, whatnot, financially and blah, blah, blah. I'm working on um, how to become more confident with myself again and accept that what's happened has happened. I guess if I talk about it maybe there's others that have gone through something similar or have the same mental challenges as me. I would love to hear how you guys deal with it and I'm gonna share my experience on how I'm gonna deal with it after I started um, experiencing self-confidence issues and not liking my body because of my boobs I then struggled to um, keep on top of exercise and eating healthy because to make myself feel better I would you know treat myself to pizza pasta chocolate ice cream you know bad food I started eating bad and emotional eating and overeating and you know that's obviously led to um, letting my body go a little bit to the point where then it's kind of hard for me to like get back into like a routine and get back on track every day you know I look in the mirror I'm reminded of like my my boobs and how I don't like them when I start letting go of my health then I don't like other parts of my body you know now I feel like my legs are not how they used to be and my stomach is definitely not how it used to be and like you know just small changes are building up and I'm like oh my god like I feel like I'm losing myself but that's just physical like, I'm, I'm not losing myself as a person but I just don't feel like me when I look at myself anymore now that I don't feel myself in so many ways like I feel like I don't know I don't know how to describe it I'm so self-conscious that if someone compliments me in any way like I, I completely shut it down and say like no way like I they're like oh my god you look so good I'm like no I'm just I look disgusting what are you talking about like Oh my god, I've never been worse. Like, yeah, it's just, it's really hard to accept compliments at the moment. And then I just get really awkward and it's really hard to explain. And I'm going to try and open up more about it because I feel like it will help people. I hope it's a lot more to it and I can open up a lot more about it. 
But I think that's enough for now. My friend who's lost her mum, who was like a second mum to me, she's recently lost her mum um, to cancer and really makes you start questioning everything about life, hey? Like, you just puts, puts everything into perspective. Like, here I am, like, upset about plastic surgery, you know, something that went wrong. And she's dealing with the loss of her mother, who was an incredible woman, and she's an incredible woman. Like, obviously it doesn't disregard my problems at all, but it just makes me think, like, there's definitely bigger problems out there. It just makes me think, okay, like, life's precious, like, this isn't the end of the world. Like, you've still got your health, you've still got your family, so many other great things in life to be grateful for. So, instead of, you know, focusing so much on, you know, this negative thing, just accept it and know other ways how to make yourself feel better so okay well so yeah if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments or like message me on instagram or email me and we can chat